Hey, what's up guys, it's the number one bread here, and today what we bring you guys is a, pretty much a final review of COG Ghosts, just the last day, uh, my opinions and how I enjoyed the game, what I enjoyed about it, and what I didn't like about it, so, hopefully you guys will enjoy this commentary, if you guys are wondering what the gameplay is in the background, it's just like a really old double cam strike that I got from like last January or something like that, um, I mean, still I'm uploading gameplays that are from like almost last year, so, yeah. This gameplay is kind of cool because I'm using the Remington and it's not the Honey Badger for once but uh, hopefully you guys do enjoy it. As I said before it's basically a, it's based around the commentary, the video so hopefully you guys listen out and before I before I go into the comments topic just in case I forget to ask you guys later make sure to drop a comment on at least one of the things you liked about Ghosts and one of the things you didn't. You could list more but just one at least. I'd like to know what you guys think. Now I'm going to list my three main things that I liked about it and three main things that I didn't and I know there's a lot more than three that I didn't like but I'm just going to highlight the three main things so I'm going to start off with the positives as per usual so the first thing that I liked about Club Ghost is that it included the chem strike something that you could earn through a gun streak and actually call it in now I didn't like the nuclear because it just came up as a, as a medal on BO2 the only way you could just tell if someone got a nuclear or whatnot is check their combat record at the start of the game and then check their combat record at the last game to see if they updated the nuclears, which nobody ever did. I mean, come on, let's be realistic. I've never done that. I'm pretty sure no one else has. And the only thing you could tell is only when you get your first nuclear and you get the title. And then after that, it's just a bit like, meh, don't really care anymore. And nuclears are just boring. People like to see uh, kill streaks that you can call in and use in action. Nuclear, way, got a medal, we're so fun. But uh, yeah, the chem strike kind of made up for that. I'm happy that it had like a 10 second timer and then destroyed the map. Uh, I didn't like that, but I like that it killed everyone on the enemy team. Um, everyone knew that you got it. That's one thing I really liked and enjoyed. The second thing that I liked about Cog Ghost is more of a personal one, and that's just the fact that it's grown my YouTube channel substantially since last year. I mean, at this point last year, I was at about 400. 40 to 400, about 440 subscribers so since then I've almost gained over 2,000 subscribers in about 1,950 or something like that at least so I'm really really happy with my growth and um, it's been so so cool um, growing on Ghosts I mean it's helped me out because I know I'm a decent player at Ghosts and I can get the gameplays hence why I've grown a fair amount so um, I'm really really happy I'm at that amount and I you know I have to thank Ghost for it because obviously if this game wasn't out and it was like another Black Ops I wouldn't be at where I am right now and the last thing I, that I liked about COG Ghost is that um, you could sound haul and that's one thing that I liked I didn't like using the Visa on Black Ops 2 because basically the majority of the time my eye was focused on the top left hand screen but with sound horror, I could focus completely on my ears while staring at you know the point I want to stare at on the screen, which is actually the people who I'm shooting, and it just gave me a better direction of sound, and I like that. That's the kind of thing. It's another personal one. I prefer sound over UAVs. You guys may disagree, but that's just the way I am. So those are the three things I liked about COG Ghost mainly. Now I'm going to jump into the things I didn't like. And the first thing was that there was clan v clan, or you know, there were clans that you could rank up on public matches. Um, there was clan v clan game mode, um, but when the clan wars came out, they put bonuses on like public matches, so all the sweaty clans would go on to public matches, and therefore I wouldn't be able to get gameplays that I wanted to. I just don't think it was a good idea because it was a, it was an attempt to substitute league play. But why would you bring league play onto public match? I don't understand. And it wasn't even a good league play either. Cog Ghost comp really, really, really did suck. To be honest, it was nothing compared to Black Ops 2, and uh, it just it was just a really failed attempt, if you ask me. The second thing that I didn't like was the fact that the maps were just goddamn too huge. There were only you guys can tell that the three main maps that would be uploaded on my channel were Sovereign. Strike Zone and Free Fall. Those are the top three, and those are the top three on pretty much anyone's channel because those are the only three decent maps or playable maps. Maybe Warhawk, maybe Octane, but they were just too huge. They were massive, and that's something that people didn't like, especially when you didn't even implement Ground War. Not even Ground War. And even when I played PS4 Ground War, the maps were still too big. You need at least 12v12 for those maps to be playable. 
and uh, it's just, you can't do it, you just can't do it. So uh, I didn't really like that. And the last thing I didn't like was the fact that, you know, the matchmaking wasn't very good. I'll be put into the same maps and same matches over and over and over again. It's just not fair um, because I left the game for a reason, for the main fact that I didn't want to join back. And then the game makes me join back and I just get angry and angry and angry, it's just stupid. And I know I'm going to say a full thing, but this is one that's just come up on the top of my head. IEDs, the fact that they did nothing, absolutely nothing to get rid of them. I mean, from the start they were just OP, there was no escaping. They made a patch where you could jump over them, but even still that made you red screen and it made the enemy aware that their ID went off. And then they kill you when you one shot, that's just so annoying. Like, doesn't need to be in the game. The maps are big enough. I don't need IEDs to, you know, com com be in a combination with it, in my opinion. But that's just how I am. Overall, I didn't mind called Ghost. It's not the worst, in my opinion. It's not a great game, but it's not the worst. Hope you guys did enjoy this commentary. Let me know your thoughts down below. Have an awesome day. Expect another upload later on. And peace.